chat with him, uh, be able to have meals with him. You know, he uh, he's taught me some uh, he's taught me some valuable lessons. He has, uh, you know, he's to be to be where he was. I look I look at his career here. He was a great player at Rice, had a tremendous career in the NFL, and to to see him and what he's been doing today, you know, I feel it's it's a great honor for for me to switch my number to his number, and uh, you know, I, just, I can't wait to I can't wait to debut with number one. Only two teams last season, and they both were from the SEC, uh, scored more than 34 points on you guys. You guys have pretty good defense. What are the expectations for this season? Um, honestly, the expectations are the same from last year. You know, we uh, the biggest one we need to, we want to repeat as Conference USA champs. And uh, second, uh, I know this is from a personal side uh, side to me. We we need in the one statistic that I believe we need to increase in is uh, our sack totals. That's, uh, that was a big hit. Uh, we hit it in that category uh, a lot last year. I believe we were, we were we were ranked 104th in the nation. I believe so. I mean, you know, uh, we've made that emphasis that we you know we want to be able to get after the quarterback a lot more this season. We want to be able to apply that pressure to be able to help out uh, the secondary and the linebackers a lot more. So you know, if we can contribute in that category, I believe that it's going to help out the entire defense as a whole. As a whole. Why do you think you guys didn't get to the quarterback as much last year? Um, there's a lot of things that came into it, a lot of uh, different factors. Uh, you know, the, t the t tenacity wasn't a question. I know you had guys on the edge like Tanner Leland and Cody Bauer trying to get after the quarterback every every snap of the ball, every time they had a chance. They were they were somehow in the backfield, uh, especially on Cody's on Cody's uh, end. But you know, um, it's hard. I know we we were disappointed in ourselves last year in that category. So and, and as as far as myself, I know I I was disappointed in myself. So I, that's one thing that I want to be able to. Uh, Contribute more to my team. You know, it's a, it's a, that's an expectation of myself too. So, um, hopefully, you know, this year we we put the work in. We've had a lot of a lot of young guys put the work in this training camp. So, um, to see the to see the improvements uh, of the defensive line and really as a, from the defense as a whole, you know, I'm really I'm truly confident going into the season. Speaking of quarterbacks, what's the challenge this week going up against Golson? You can do so many things. You know, uh, well, first of all, you have to, you truly have to respect a quarterback like Eric Wilson. You know, uh, last time he played, you know, he led Notre Dame to a national cha to, na uh, to the national title, and uh, for unfortunately they lost to Alabama. But you know, he's a, a great quarterback that you have to consider to be a threat in every position that he can be when he plays the ball. You know, he's a great, he's he's a very fast runner. He's a, he's a read option threat, and he also can throw the ball pretty well. So. You know, we've um, we've we've entered. Uh, we're going into this game knowing who we're going against, and you know what? We're uh, preparing really like we prepared last year for Man uh, for Johnny Manziel because uh, he's just that type. Of, he's that caliber of a player. So you know, uh, we're excited. I mean, again, we're excited to be able to play against a guy like him. And I know uh, with what we with what we've done this, this camp, I know that uh, this defense is ready. It sounds like the team's not excited to be able to go up there and play, but excited to go up there the chance to win. Is that the kind of attitude you guys have? No, you know what? Um, that's that's an emphasis that has been put on, <laughs> put, on, uh, put on us, and it's an emphasis that some of us do feel. But um, on behalf of this defense, uh, we're we're going to win. Like, I'm, I I I respect that we you know we, we want to be able to do well in conference in conference USA. I respect that we want to do do well to see improvement in a lot of our non-conference games, but. Um, you know, I I want to go there to compete with the best of the best. Uh, this defense wants to be able to compete with the best of the best, and so I'm. We're we're taking we're our mentality going to this game. Is what, we're here. We're amongst the best. Why not play with like the best? So. Go. Was there a time uh, in your time here, at Bryce, when you started to sort of turn that switch on, the thinking like you're thinking right now, the defense and kind of bring them all, bringing them all together and coming through the defense as a unit? Was there a time? When you um, not in time specifically. Um, you know, it's just, I feel it's something that's just been naturally occurring as these past uh, two seasons of my play has been progressing. Um, you know, uh, after the, after last season, it was put on me with the uh, defensive coaches and, uh, and with uh, uh, Coach Thurman, our defense coordinator, that I had to step up and be able to help anchor this, de this defense and help be that anchor on the defensive line. And you know, it's a role that I accept, um, you know. We have a lot of uh, a lot of strong leadership on this team, a lot of strong defense, uh, senior leadership on this team, and to you know to be able to contribute to that success, you know, uh, 
I feel it's it's a positive thing. I'm just I'm looking forward to the opportunities at hand with this upcoming season. Notre Dame and then Texas A&M you have two tough tests right out the gate to start the season. Is this the best way to start it? Oh yes. I no, you know what? Um, the bigger the stage, the better. Truly, that's the I, I, I love I love. I loved a and atmosphere last year. I love the big, I love playing big non-conference games and to play two teams that are in the top, that are both uh, top 25 teams in the nation. You know, you can't ask for, you can't ask for anything better than that. Um, so I know this team's excited and I'm excited. And uh, I just, uh, I'm, I'm jittery right now because I just can't wait for this season to get started right now. What have you seen out of Dreyfus during, during camp and, and the offense under his leadership? How is it going? And are you you know, communication has been a. I've seen a, I've seen a big increase in communication in this uh, fall camp. You know, uh, Dreyfus has been. He's he's truly done an amazing job with increasing his uh, his vocal skills as well as his command uh, command of the offense. So, you know, he uh, he challenges us every day. And and when he when he mentioned earlier that he challenges both sides of the ball, he's not kidding. You know, he goes. Uh, like if it wasn't every day, if if it wasn't every practice, it was every other practice that he come up to me and say, you know, what, make us make us better make us better, make us work harder. So, you know what, I applaud him for everything he's done. And, uh, you know, he's truly, he's, to, to see where he's come from his uh, his time at, uh, as a freshman when, he, when we came in together, you know, it's, it's, it's remarkable to see him finally enter this role that he's in because, you know, you, uh, you see a lot of headlines co uh, across the country about, you know, incoming quarterback, young quarterbacks just trans trying to transfer out of programs just pe to be able to get a chance to, uh, just have a start to start immediately at any other school that they wanted to get a chance to drive. Just you know, he's paid as Coach Bill said, he's paid his dues. You know, he's been he's been working hard every day. He's been he's been trained he's been training us. Uh, he's he's the hard one of the hardest workers on the team. One of the one of the best students of the game on this team. And you know, to see him and his success that he he's had uh, so far up until this season. You know, this guy's a for him. This guy's a for this offense. I cannot wait to see what they're able to do. The fact that he stayed and he didn't try to leave to go get that playing time somewhere else, does that give you guys that much more confidence and that much more respect in him? Yes, it does. You know, he's uh, he's made it clear that he wants to he wants to be a he wants to be the leader on this team, he wants to do it the right way. And you know, it's it's like he said, he's not he's not uh, he's not here to make friends, he's not here to um, to be the most popular guy on the team. He's gonna be a leader uh, any way he can. And so uh, I respect him for what he's been doing so far, and uh, I can't wait to see what he has to, what he has to give for this team. Anyone else? Hey, Chris, All right, thank you.